Hello to my friends around the world. All my fans and friends, yesterday it was a bit late, so I tend to <laughs> I tend to not um, not be able to talk very correctly because maybe the tired the exhaustion I had was all about some language is it that when I get exhausted, I can't speak clear. Yeah, I think it's um, what is that? What is what kind of? You may have an answer to this uh, if you don't mind. Um, uh, if you are so exhausted that you are just um, striving with your pronunciation. Anyway, the water helps a lot. And let me start this time with the ending last time. That um, if you disagree, if you hate my videos, if you don't like them, if you have some issues against them, if you think that I'm exposing myself too much or whatever it is, you can please post it. I would rather have uh, disputes than agreements. Agreements is just for lazy people that uh, like everything people say. They have no independent opinion. And that's, I think that's a uh, beautiful, uh, beautiful um, thing to have if you have your own independent opinion. I've been mocked because of my independent opinions. In the first, uh, in the beginning, I was <laughs> unliked by many. People may like some certain brainments regarding this, but the, the issue they disapproved, but they never argued. They never argued against it. They just disapproved that your opinion. Not everybody agree, Ole. Ole, not everybody agree. And <laughs> okay, what's the point for that? Why? Why should everybody agree to what you say? Isn't that just cowardly? Um, argument and sometimes they say don't expose yourself that but because people people will turn against you yeah if they are wolves so be it come come I invite you all the wolves out there I invite you why is it so sensitive that people have their own opinion? Why is it so sensitive? Why does uh, government... Let's take, for example, Islamic uh, governments. Why can't you speak against your leaders? Why is it so hard? Why is it so hard to... If you are a gay or lesbian or whatever, is it why? Why do people need to intervene in those cases? Why is the private opinion, private sensitivity, private whatever it is, private? Why do you need to intervene in that kind of life? Is it so damaging for you? Are you that? vulnerable that you can't stand that people are different from you with different ideas different uh, uh, attitude di different uh, um, orientation around sex i just ask so i uh, in as much beautiful you are in as much as you are are very your opinions all what you say is so perfect 
it can turn around. But and it's not nice at all. Because you have this obsessive anger toward the different uh, opinions. You can't stand it. And that portrays you as not so very uh, what do you what do, <laughs> they have a word for it. Uh, you are not that sympathetic. You don't look that sympathetic when you are very intolerant of other people. And people that demand uh, tolerance. They are the worst intolerant people ever. So beauty is in the eye of the beholder, as they say. Because you, have, you can have a so beautiful lady. As men, we look at beautiful ladies. We like them. We even do things with them that you shouldn't talk about. Because they are so intervening in your um, feelings and all this kind of stuff. That you do certain things that you may be a little bit ashamed of. Or whatever it is. But many, many, many ladies, I don't, I don't take this as a sexist um, argument or something. It's just how it is with also men. You can think that a man is so nice. He is so perfect. And uh, all about him you love. Or she. It's about the humanity. But when you see the greedy side, when you see the, when you see the ex, um, ex, what do you call it? Um, I don't have my translator here. <laughs> when you when you exploit people for your own beauty, the own perfection, as if I am here, as I would. Uh, uh, I would uh, maybe if I have, I didn't have this. If I had this little monkey that was stronger than the bigger sense, uh, the moral uh, man. If the monkey in me is stronger than the moral man, I would take advantage of other people because of my what you what you see in me. That is exploitation. That is that is morally so corrupt. And people that use other people in a, uh, to 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 gain some maybe attention or gifts or whatever. I see a program now that uh, it's about ninety days before the wedding, and <laughs> some of the ladies, I have to say, some of the ladies they just use this guy that found them and they came to America and they use it for what it is and it's all about themselves if you don't satisfy me I will get so disappointed and for me such a girl even if she is the most perfect sexiest most erotic fantasizing girl it could be She's lost because you see the greed, the selfishness, the all this kind of me, me, me. It's all about me and I am defining you because you don't fulfill all my ideas of how you should be. That is just purely selfishness and uh, egocentrics, egocentricity and all this bad stuff that people let out. The little monkey have the stronger power. The monkey in you is stronger than the 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 the, the moral part of you. The monkey have no limitations. It jumps here, takes that, and whatever it is, the monkey does do. So it is. They disgrace themselves by letting all this monkey stuff <clears throat> come out. 
So today is all about monkeys. Men can be monkeys because they can't hold their... When, when they get the attention of a girl, they can't hold back. They want more. And they will give gifts that are luring ladies to think, oh, this is so nice, it is so, it is so nice, so easy to be together with. But after a while, all these gifts will turn into bitterness if you don't fulfill his uh, needs. Who would want that kind of attention knowingly that in the end you are taken advantage of? He invites you to a dinner, he pays for both the dinner, the drinks and everything. You have it all, you have it all. You think so? Are you that naive? That since he is that kind of gentleman, he have no monkey inside. Everybody have the monkey inside. Yes, trust me. Every, even I, you can look at me as a per, the perfection of the perfection. And I, I, I would like to agree. <laughs> I would like to agree that I'm so perfect that you can't beat me. But even me. Only an honest man will agree that he have this monkey inside that is so wild. And if you can't, if you can't hold him, contain him, he will go wild. He can't hold himself back. And that is the main, main excuse that when they are having fun, uh, having romantic, everybody can have these romantic uh, moments that is very good, it's a good sign of uh, mutual uh, um, interaction, it's a beautiful uh, rom romance, is very beautiful, but um, behind the romance, behind the gifts, there is this monkey is appearing every time again and again, and if you can't hold this if you can't arrest him, you can say that uh, this gift is okay, but don't do this gift every time just to get your, your wants. This is not the deal. We have, to, we have to agree on mutual equality level that I, if I want to give you, I give you out of my heart, not out of the greed that I want something in, in the future. No, you should be you should be free. With all the gifts you have been given, you are still free and he has no ownership of you. But I think to, to receive all these kind of gifts will trigger this monkey, both in you and both in him. So, that's, that's leading into insults, rape something happens in the bed that you don't really want you can't say no because of all the attention you got all the gifts you got why can't you just say no and why can't this man just let go the more we set each other free listen to this If you set your girlfriend or your boyfriend free, set them free, they will be, they will set them free, they will be. If you hold them, they will want to go away. No one likes this kind of jail. You agree, Anastina? Yeah. Have you felt that is a very personal question. Have you felt that uh, that kind of jail with me? With you? Yeah, with me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you went to Australia. I I went back. I had to get her back again. <laughs> but uh, 
No, in case, in fact, this this is quite the opposite. But I don't like to brag about myself. I like, but uh, I, I I have to do it in limited uh, versions. <laughs> Everybody wants to brag about themselves. Yes, be honest. The monkey is there. <laughs> the monkey is always there. So rest assured, if you say no to a man or a or a lady, mean it. Let it be said. But don't think for a moment you can rule over others with manipulations, with all the tricks you have in your slip, your sleeves. Uh, the other one will, from beauty to um, beast, beauty to beast. From gentleman to um, scorpion. Or do you have a better word from gentleman to to something with G, uh, gross, whatever, gross, from um, Grizzly bear. man to monkey, yeah. Uh, yeah, to man to monkey, and uh, vice versa. The monkey need to be tamed, and you are your, your, people blame others for what they are doing, for what they are feeling, but and that is a lifelong lesson. That is, you can't get rid of that kind of uh, feeling that if someone doing something to you, you have this certain concept of feeling. That is, that is kind of obvious, but that you can't accuse what you do because the other one demanded. That is just so pity. You poor and idiot excuse. Why do you turn on others for what you are doing? Can't you be a man or a lady enough to stand for it yourself? Can't you be brave about it? And if you do some mistake, if you rape, if you hit or whatever you do, can't you just be man enough to say, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have done it. The little monkey uh, got too aggressive, so I, um, I'm the ownership of that kind of uh, action. Get yourself, you get your eggs together and get the mo monkey contained. My, my daughter wants to go out, but I also wanted to do this video after I have, we have, we have cleaned the, the, the house. We have some agreed mutual ag agreement regarding the clean, uh, cleaning of the house. So, so I think that, I think, I hope that uh, my daughter likes it. Uh, I can do the, uh, we can switch uh, sides next time if she won't. It's up to her and also up to me. <laughs> <laughs> what are you? What are you writing now, Augustine? I can't see it. I can't see it. I cannot do that. Ah, uh, oh yeah. It's uh, it's something else. But I got the message. Oh yeah. I got it. I'm ready to go. You are ready to go, but but Augustine, <laughs> Augustine. <laughs> Bye. Have you something to add to this topic regarding the beautiful uh, ladies that uh, turn? I said that you weren't here that, by them. The beautiful ladies that are so sexy, so hot. Of course, we have to put a name to it. And if you're afraid to say this is the name, you are just cheating yourself. You're a liar. You are a coward. But there are some ladies, for us men, they are so hot, they are so sexy that you can't put, turn the eyes other ways. <laughs> it is just like that. The little monkey regarding girls are very strong. But in my, in my sight of, of those beautiful ladies that seems to know they are so beautiful and seem to take advantage of other people because of their beauty, they turn into something not nice at all. They are not really nice. They are turning. It's the same way with handsome men. 
they can be perfect, but when they take advantage over other people, it is not about sex, female, only females, it's, it's the humanity. And in my sight, I can only speak for myself, those beautiful ladies turn into something very grim. I don't have this uh, uh, awe over what you, uh, that I am so amazed over their beauty. They turn into something very ugly, very, very self, self absorbed. What do you think about that kind of view? Yeah. I have a little question. <laughs> she lost it. <laughs> they turn. But yes, uh, they're very self absorbed and. Uh, uh, I, I guess they're so beautiful that. You just want to ignore all the uh, red flags and all the negative stuff because he's like a beauty or he or she is like a beautiful painting. Uh, but uh, I mean, do you want a painting or do you yeah. want uh, uh, someone who cares about you? <laughs> the picture or the real? Mm. And uh, I, I think that there is some innocence, some unaware uh, unawareness regarding very beautiful uh, ladies but let's take uh, uh, the ladies and also the boys i also have seen the it. Guys, yeah. also the guys there is something what makes them so beautiful is something in very innocent and very very much not self-aware of it that makes makes it wow the the top uh, otherwise, it can be a, just a picture of someone, but when they, when they are this kind of innocence, this kind of this uh, shyness, this kind of, I, I, I have this opinion that it, it, some ladies, they are just exposing everything. And for me, it's not that nice picture. As Larry David said again, less is more. Don't ex don't blow it up. <laughs> it can be beautiful without. So be be who you are. That is the main point here. Be you who you are, regardless of how people view you, beautiful or ugly or whatever in your eyes is uh, beautiful. Yes, be be who you are, and people will be so attracted to you even if you are a little bit ashamed of something don't be just just be who you are and be brave about yourself be 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 the best version of you no one can beat you in that so i wish you all a good day I'm happy that you are listening and uh, I wish you all God's and my blessing.